What is going on? Welcome to episode 116 of the Nintendo PowerCast. I'm your host, N64 Josh, on this, well, usually it's an NPC mini, but I have a feeling we're going to go a little longer because I got a player two with me tonight, Dan Thompson. What's up, buddy? How are you? Not much. It is blisteringly hot. I, I really wish I like bought a fan or like had air conditioning that worked. But it seems like even though I'm like in a place that's not usually hot, everywhere is just blisteringly hot. So everybody's probably relating very heavily. Dude, earlier this week, it was out of control. We finally have cloud cover here. And so it's like it mellowed out. There was even some rain this morning. I was like, <laughs> I, I miss this. I miss this. So, all right, guys. Well, that music you just heard was from On Being Human. You can check them out on Spotify and YouTube. If you want to get yourself a free book, free audio book, go to audibletrial.com slash NPC. There you can choose from so many great books. Ready Player One, Console Wars, so much good stuff. That's audibletrial.com slash NPC. The chair I'm sitting in is from OP Seat. If you go to n64josh.com slash OP Seat, you will automatically save $10 on checkout and all of their chairs are $150 off and their desks are $100 off right now. So go check that out. n64josh.com slash OP Seat seat okay uh you know i think i think we got we got a couple announcements to get to hey listen we do the show live twitch.tv slash n64 josh tuesdays and thursdays at 6 p.m pacific standard time on twitch i want to say hey guys what's up pudding scrumpy dogs benji colton nightcrawler super nintendad plumber kirby geek Joel Mead, Mr. Cool Red Luigi, uh, Callie, everybody that's here hanging out. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate you. And uh, oh, I'm writing a book, guys. Beginner's Guide to Gaming Content. And the first, the first module is podcasting. So it's coming out very soon. It's coming out in August. It's coming out this month. So stay tuned for that. I got first look tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's Fridays, twitch.tv slash n64josh. We're going to be looking at Yoku's Island Express, which I've played just a little bit already. Just a little bit. And we're going to talk about it here. And uh, I got a few other games we're going to be playing as well. So get some coffee. Come hang out. Maybe you're getting ready for work. Maybe you're already at work and you're bored. Well, come look at some new games that have uh, hit the Switch recently. That'll be happening tomorrow morning. So let's get to, uh, you know, our, our... Reviews and impressions section. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Well, Dan, you played a little bit of a uh, little bit of Yoku's Island Express. Oh, oh, oh! Why? Yes, I have. Why? Yes, I have. One of the best pinball games I think I've ever played since Sonic Spinball. Let me tell you, <laughs> that's saying something. That is that is saying something. So the demo uh, <laughs> just dropped today, I believe. But you've you've had yes. the you've had the the full version. What uh, I mean? Yes. What like kind of explain the game a little bit because it's gotcha. You know, Sonic Spinball. Like some people may know that, some people may not. <laughs> it's it's definitely a a different. Uh, it's yeah. It's not like anything I really experienced. So why don't you break it down for yeah. us? Yeah. No. Uh, basically, Yoku's Island Express, which which is on Nintendo Switch. It's been there for a while. The demo is just a new edition. It's not like coming out soon. So it's been out for a while. Uh, Yoku's Island Express is basically like a metroidvania style like adventure game or like a platformer almost uh with collectathon elements Uh, however it is entirely played via pinball basically you you play as yoku and then you have like the little pinball paddles and you hit them around and it's it's very very fun like you have that sort of like um you have that sort of like what what do you call it that flow state where you're playing pinball and you're like hitting things just perfectly and you're doing different like Um, just different requirements and progressing through levels as if they were like tables in a pinball game. And it's, it's very excellent as a very cool visual style. And of course, yeah, like as you were talking about the gameplay quirks as well, um, making it like a pinball game, almost like a platformer almost is, is very, very, very interesting. Um, So like the demo, definitely from what I've heard from you, you, so 
try try to run me through exactly what the demo so far has been able to show because main the main draw of this game is the gameplay and it seems like the demo most definitely goes over exactly how great and excellent the gameplay can be so yeah so you, i mean you fire it up and i believe it's just the beginning of the game i don't know how far it goes we'll probably find out tomorrow but but, mm. but a little bit i played you have to uh you got to start delivering mail <laughs> right? yeah that's kind of your you're you're now the the main male person for the island and yeah you you've got to go uh like go get a is it, are you trying to collect a badge or something right off the bat like yeah and, and yeah, right is, off the bat is that the entire game or is that just the first level so so yeah i mean that that is that is the first level that okay. deals more with the collectathon elements of it but you know how like with a pinball table you're kind of stuck with a pinball table and you like know the different rules and it, you could probably play for one or two hours and you're just getting a higher and higher score Ooh, right more so these are like just imagine each level is like a miniature pinball table and that's basically what you're going through and like trying to perfect Gotcha. So you start off and you move left to right with the mm-hmm. with the analog stick and you're kind of like, oh, this is like a this is like a platform, but you're not jumping. There's no jumping happening. Yeah. And then you fall. No, exactly. And you can tell it's selling you hit the bumpers like it's not it's not mm-hmm. super apparent. Like you kind of got to you kind of got to mess around a little bit. And then it's like, oh, OK, and then it all clicks. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I see what's happening here. And then you're kind of you're breaking walls and you're you're. Mm-hmm you're walking around and maybe finding little secrets and things like that. And um, if you go too far to one side, there's like a guy that gets kind of upset with you and is like, you better go find me a mushroom, you know? So yeah, it, it uh, is, it, is, it has a lot of character, it, which like a ton. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah and the, the graphics are like, I just played handheld. Like I said, it was literally like maybe two yeah. minutes tops. I just was like, okay, I want to, I want to be able to at least go hands on with this a little bit so that we can, <laughs> we can chat about it tonight. And, um, even in that two minutes, I was like, mm-hmm. right now I'm like, I kind of want to just play Like, I wonder if I could play oh, this yeah. game quiet enough without the microphone <laughs> picking it up, <laughs> you know, <laughs> the chat saying yeah, downloading it's... now. Yes. Download it now. Go to the, go yeah. check out the demo. At the, oh at the yeah. A hundred percent. It's free. Like go ahead and try and just even play a little bit of it. Like you're going to have that moment where I'm assuming once the demo ends, like you're going to want to buy the rest of the game. So be warned, but it's a good slice of the game from what I'm hearing. Be warned. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. Okay. Now we're about to get weird. Oh boy. Because I <laughs> downloaded the WarioWare Gold demo and you know, we talked about it just briefly before the show started. Wario talks in complete sentences. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> I don't I don't think I can get over it. Um, but yeah, yeah. Like he like the opening cutscene of the game. He is just like, I got to start making games again. And he introduces all of the cast of characters and he's just not missing a beat. He's always talking. And it's and we talked about it. It's Charles Martinet. But it's like you can only have so much Charles Martinet before it just becomes like I because usually those Mario characters are kind of silent and you kind of don't realize how like over the top they are with their voice acting. But yeah, it's going to take some getting used to. It was, yeah, it was, <laughs> it, it was something. It was something I was like, okay, I think I'm ready. I, I think I'm ready to play the game now with less talking. <laughs> like, I, I, I think I'm ready. So, uh, so I jumped in mm-hmm. and it immediately just throws you into. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, I know there's going to be judgment. Never played any kind of a WarioWare game whoa what yeah are you serious I'm right serious. now i've never i've never played as far as i can remember i've never played anything because they're all kind of weird like, little mini games right yeah yeah and they've been on every single nintendo platform like since the game boy advance and and gamecube yeah sorry so, um, i've failed you <laughs> so i mean like those are like some of that that's like one of my favorite series ever so you probably heard wario talking and were like this is just what this game is this is <laughs> I, yeah, no kidding like i was like man like this is this is what wario wears like and they they keep making these like this yeah. is this is crazy you know the i'm used to uh i'm used to uh, the wario i know is from like Six golden coins, baby. Like, yeah, where he's the main, what? He's the main <laughs> villain. 
<laughs> so, you know, or else yeah. smash. That's uh, that's yeah. it. Oh, my chat is lighting me up right now. Yeah, there. no, everybody is probably very <laughs> upset. Like, you told me to have the question ready for what Nintendo game I might not have played that they might get mad at. But you, you, I don't think yeah. I can top that. Like, yeah. not a single one. Yeah, never. And I, I the the one on the Wii had some interesting games that I'm like, oh, I want to try that. <laughs> never never got around the one on the wii is very good or i'm sorry wii u right isn't it the wii u oh yes yeah is that the and correct me if i'm wrong but isn't that the game where you like there's there's a pirate ship shooting suction cup darts at you and you've got to move yeah it's it's a it's all right there's one okay so the thing about the wii u one is that it's not a typical warioware game because it's about six or seven different mini games and so for like when it first came out it was like 40 or 50 dollars and everybody was complaining about it because it wasn't very much for what they were paying for but there was one game where you played as nine volt and you had the wii u gamepad and you're playing like regular warioware like just you're playing WarioWare on the gamepad and you're supposed to look up at the screen to see if your mother walks by right, right, right. and is trying to, yeah, it was the best mini game because like <laughs> it has like WarioWare in it and it has like another added layer. One of the best utilizations of the gamepad I think I've ever seen that's, with a Wii U. That's cool. So that I, I remember it not getting, being very mm-hmm. well received and I was like, yeah, I'm not going to even, Oh yeah. Um, I'm not going to waste my time. So I think I got it for free because they were doing a when you bought the Wii U like about a year in, they were like giving out like three free games. And one of them was that Wario game. Uh Um, Yeah, I believe I did. a. uh, I think that's how I got. I could be mistaken, though, but I got Wii Party U and my kids played a lot of that game. Yeah. And then when I deleted it because I didn't have space on my hard drive, they were like, why would you delete the one game we loved? (laughs) Why do you hate us, Dad? Like that's kind of how that went. So, so anyway, I mean, I I didn't really have any expectations going into this this demo, gotcha. which is that's available for free on the 3DS, guys. You can mm-hmm. you can check it out. The game is launching tomorrow, and like some of the things I found interesting is it's like, uh, it it, it was just called Mash, which maybe that's a standard yeah. version or something. I don't even like again. I don't know. And it was You're like playing you, a series of mini games in a row. Yeah, you had the D pad yeah. and the A button. And you mm-hmm. were like pushing people over. You were trying to run into a bathroom stall so that you didn't have an accident. <laughs> you were playing a game and watch, which I thought was cool. I was like, this yeah. is cool seeing this. Um, and it, it, I mean, overall I was enjoying it, but I was just still kind of like, what am I playing? Like what, what, what is this? But I'm, I'm intrigued by it. I want to dig into it a little bit more and uh, you know, yeah, I, I mean, I, I definitely suggest it once the full game comes out. Um, definitely, you're going to have a kick with the 9 volts games. I don't know if you're familiar with 9 volts mini games in the WarioWare series, but they're all apes and riffs on classic Nintendo games and modern Nintendo games. Mm. So it's, yeah, those are like the standouts for me every year. Um, I'm also, or every time that game cam- comes out, it's been five years since the last one because people like you didn't buy it when it came out. <laughs> Sorry, <fam. laughs> and uh, also I, I did, I did want to mention that you can actually dub over the cutscenes with your own voice and a very, very strange special feature in that game. Um, so when the full version of the game comes out, if you don't like Wario's voice, then then you do better, I guess, is what Nintendo's trying to say with that. <laughs> That's really interesting. <laughs> huh. Huh. Well, while while on the subject, what is the WarioWare game that I should not miss? That I Ooh, should that's, go back and play. Hmm. I got all the consoles. I can I can pretty okay. much play any of them. So I, you just got to tell me. Yeah. I so I'm, I'm I mean I'm thinking about it and I I legitimately almost want you to like h- how creative are you? Like this is kind of a <laughs> this is kind of a loaded question. But I, there I would say fairly, I guess. Fairly creative. Okay. Yeah. There is one where you're making your own micro games and it may may not be the best one to first start out with, but you can lose tens and hundreds of hours making your own games in WarioWare DIY for the Nintendo DS and it has some default games on it already. Okay. Um but definitely like you can make your own wacky and really really fun stuff. Hmm. in that game but um something more traditional the warioware smooth moves is one of the best utilizations of that console like those games are very very good tech demos and and the wii one still holds up um which is the smooth moves one so okay i would suggest that one 
in terms of ones that have aged the most. But I've heard that gold mixes a lot of the older mini games too. So you might even just be better starting with this new one that comes out tomorrow. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. I think that my <laughs> chat's putting me in the corner. Somebody's saying that try the GameCube one. So, oh yeah. You know, oh yeah. There. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry Thank to you disappoint, guys. At least you, you should be used to it by now, though. You should be used <laughs> to it. So, okay, let's get into the next section here. We're going to talk about what is coming soon for the Nintendo Switch and 3DS. Okay, all right. So, games that are either coming out or coming out up until next Friday. All right. So, we have The Inner World. For the Switch, WarioWare Gold 3DS. We have Loot Monkey, Bling Palace. It's coming out the 6th. Overcooked 2, coming out the 7th. Dead Cells, coming out the Mm. 7th. Uh, Flipping Death, coming out the 7th. In Between, also the 7th. Um, And Overcooked right now is currently available for pre-purchase. And if you pre-purchase it, you get some like extra chefs and things like that. I'm not sure if you can unlock those later or if that's the only way you can get it. I have, I I don't know. So if you're really into that and you want to make sure you get all the content with Overcooked, um, you can, uh, you can pre-purchase it now. I do want to shout out the Nintendo power podcast. They had the devs for overcooked two mm-hmm. on recently. I think that that episode launched, like I think while I was on vacation. So um, most of you've probably listened to it, but if you haven't, and you want to get to know um, the team behind overcooked Two, make sure to check out yeah. that episode. Uh, Slam lands coming out the seventh super blackjack, super blackjack battle Two turbo edition, the card warriors, when I saw this, the logo initially, I'm like, is this street fighter? Like what is, but it's not, Yeah, it's uh, it just kind of a, looks like a rip off of it or whatever. So if you're into blackjack, maybe, maybe what you're, yeah. like what you're looking for blob cat, which I've been seeing some tweets and stuff I, about. I've seen some stuff about it. Yeah. Yeah. It looks, looks kind of interesting. Um, Megaton rainfall wow. minute, which is kind of a weird spelling for minute. Yeah. Um, Okami HD is the ninth shut. eye is the ninth super city is the ninth the amazing shinzugumi heroes in love i don't know you I'm, tried you tried I, That's yeah okay, okay. <laughs> thanks thanks someone's here to mock me um live now for my you should every week i'm trying like uh nope i'm not gonna get it <laughs> unexplored is coming out the ninth and mini mentro mini Metro is also coming out the night. Now mm-hmm. Okami is available for pre-purchase and yeah. the uh, Shin Shinzen Gumi or however you say it yeah. um, is, is available for pre-purchase as well. So there you go. There's the games that are going to be coming out within the next week. Let's get to the sales. All right. So Blobcat, if you pre-purchase it, is eight forty nine instead of nine ninety nine. Um, in between is nine forty nine instead of eleven ninety nine. Super Blackjack is six thirty nine. So you got you got a little discount on a handful of these. Mm-hmm. And then um, here we go. Here's the start of our sales. Cycle twenty eight. Dream Alone. Airmail. Dan, I want you to stop me if there's any of these that you've played that you're like, hey, if this game is on yeah. sale, don't miss this one. Okay, so I can assure you very few of these will be. <laughs> <laughs> what? You didn't play airmail? I can't believe it. <laughs> uh, Lost Sea Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection is $10 Ooh. off right now. I, I love that game. Like I'm a Street, I mean, Street Fighter fan. Yeah. So I, I fell for that whole buying Super Street Fighter two for forty bucks. <laughs> so I'm gonna feel a little burned right now. Maybe uh, when that's ten dollars. But I, I got you. I, I bought them both. But I'm a I'm a huge Street Fighter nut. <laughs> so you know that's just me though. Um, Disco Dodgeball Remix got a cool name. Mm. Framed Collection. Death Road to Canada. Looks like some cool pixel art. Uh, it is. It is. That's a good one. Is it? Okay, cool. Yeah. There you go. That's eleven ninety nine. Uh Zombilly. The Long Reach. North Detention. Mulaka, which I know a lot of people really liked. I remember uh yeah. a few different podcasts and stuff talking pretty highly about it. So yeah, that one's that a good one. Fifteen ninety eight. Oh, that's a steal. Yeah, definitely get that then. Yeah. Subsurface Circular. Uh Old Man's Journey. Oh, definitely pick that up, guys. That is a very emotional game. Like, it's very, very good. Really? Okay. Yeah, Old definitely Master keep that one on your radar. Okay. Uh, Millie. Um, 
Wonder Wonder Jaw try again or walk away. I I don't know if I even said it. Right, I, I have but, no idea. <laughs> yeah, uh, Dandara is eight ninety nine, and y'all don't know about Dandara, so just remember that. Um, but that that one I heard is pretty good. That Dandara is, is very good. good. That's a Metroidvania one, right? I believe it is. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, Eterno Blade, Shoe, Chroma Gun, Fury, The Escapist Two. Mm. stick bold and dodgeball adventure deluxe that's a good one stick bold is very good if you have friends it's also very good if you don't have friends <laughs> you don't have friends too <laughs> just just avoid it it won't be good no okay that one's 899 mom hid my game is 349 uh brawl out is 1199 what <laughs> I love this the artwork for Mom Hid My Game. It looks like it looks like the the folders they or the little pamphlets they give you on an like on an airplane, right? Like when they're like, how, oh like, yeah, I know how what to, you're how talking to get about, off the plane yeah. if it goes down or whatever. Like that's that's what it looks like. Uh, Brawl Out is eleven ninety nine. So if you're looking to kind of scratch that Smash Bros itch, I mean it's yeah, it's it's, it's okay. Uh, Bleed. It's 407. It's over $10 yeah. off right now. Oh, wow. If Bleed's 407, definitely pick that up if you guys haven't played it. That was that was one of the first like um Steam games that I had played um in terms of like independent games and it's it's excellent. Okay. Cool. Uh Mecho Tales. I don't know what this game is. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I've never heard it's of it. It's usually $10. It's 79 cents. Oh, what? So I might as well then. Yeah, you might. You might as well. It's 79 cents right now. Hmm. Um, one more dungeon. Plague Road, which I played and could not couldn't stand it, but it's a dollar. I see that everywhere. And it's just like, that does not look good. Yeah, it's it's not. It's not good. Um, okay. Plantera Deluxe. Nine parchments is seven ninety nine. Hmm. Have you played that? Is <sighs> Yes. Yes, I have. That's a good multiplayer game. It, it, everybody thinks it it plays like Diablo. Not really. It's basically like a multiplayer. Like everybody's a mage kind of like if you, if you've ever heard of the game, I think it's called Magica. It was like this Diablo sort of clone top down where everybody's using spells instead of like hacking and slashing, but it's fun with friends, but a little, some performance issues. I see. I see. Well, it's seven 99 right now. So if that's one that you want to pick up, there you go. Kid trip (laughs) is a dollar 99 and that's from the same people that made, um, uh, mm. Miles and Kilo, which uh, it's just kind of a side-scrolling platformer. So good-looking pixel art. Transcripted yeah. Worms WMD is seventeen huh. ninety nine down from twenty nine ninety nine. The Worms games are always fun. Like I usually try to have at least one Worms title on whatever you know on each of my consoles, but uh, um, I still haven't pulled the trigger. I'm, I'm, who knows? Maybe I will this time. I haven't heard how this one plays or anything, so I'll have to look into it. Um, Ernog earn limited like that's a weird spelling um aces of lutwafa i hopefully i said that right squadron ah. which i've heard good things about have you played that one really no i haven't i haven't at all huh. the, so where i heard good things was the nin- nintendo voice chat ign all those guys really? were, like loved it they were like really yeah, they really liked it so and it looks, How, is that on sale yeah it's on sale 9.99 oh okay all right yeah. so 14.99 is this normal price so uh, okay. Maria, the witch is $2 and 49 cents, uh, rock in racing off-road DX sparkle Two Evo violet hardy golf, super ping pong trick shot, putty pals, oxen free is four ninety nine. Mm. I know a lot of people like that. Yeah, I was like, Oh, I'll check it free. out. And then my discard reminded me that it's a game that involves a lot of reading. So that's not really my, uh, um, <laughs> if there's an audio version of oxen free, I'd be down, you know, um, tumblestone binaries butcher hmm. NBA 2k 18 a- NBA 2k 18 legend edition and NBA 2k yeah. 18 legend edition gold is a hundred dollars <laughs> off right now. You can get it for 50 bucks instead of off? 150. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Oh uh, man. <laughs> Kingdom New Lands. Quest of Dungeons. Guys, this one is mm. one that you shouldn't miss. It's a uh roguelite dungeon crawler. And mm. it was one of the first games I was sent a review code for once I started uh, the this this show. 
I, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. So it's 539. If you like that kind of just rinse and repeat and trying to figure stuff out and whatever, like it's, it's good. And it's got really quirky, like goofy writing too. Like the, the, the conversations, you know, the, all the warriors and stuff are like sitting around a campfire and they're like, we should draw straws to see who needs to go in the dungeon. You know, like it's just, it's just kind of, kind of goofy stuff. So light spear, double spear edition. The bridge is two eighty nine from 10 bucks. Mm. Forma eight Jackbox party pack is 50% off 12. Got to get that 1249. So I see a lot of people stream that and stuff. A lot of people seem to like it. That's a very good one. If you have friends, like you actually do have to have friends to play that one though. <laughs> Cubics paint boost beast goner. Astro mm, Goner's good. Is it? It's yeah. it's five ninety nine down from nine ninety nine mm-hmm. right now. Yeah. Goner's a very, very good roguelite. I, I really, really like that game when it first came out, like I think back in May. Uh, Astro Duel Deluxe hmm. is uh, half off right now, which that one, that's another like four player. It's a kind of a yeah. four player asteroid style game. So basically it, it, it looked, it looked pretty fun. I've, I've been tempted to pick it up a few different times. Mm-hmm. And then last but not least coming in at three ninety nine, Othello. Oh, I, I reviewed that game for Nintendo Life. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I gave that game, but I think it was kind of low. <laughs> what do you mean? It's so fun. It's <laughs> just a fellow. There's not much else. <laughs> All right. Well, there's your guys' sales and new releases. Let's get to the news. All right. The NPD group. Release their numbers for June. Huh. You know what the number one selling huh. console for June 2018 was? Oh, could it possibly be the PlayStation 4 or Xbox One or Nintendo Switch and not the mini NES? <laughs> Negative, Ghost Rider. It is <laughs> NES Classic, the best selling console in the month of June. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> Seeing what? people get mad about this headline is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> but do they think it shouldn't count like oh yeah there's some people who are like how dare you lump that in with the playstation 4 and then there's other people who are like i bought 10 of these last month and didn't realize they'd be so common now i'm down 600 dollars <laughs> like <laughs> that's what you get scalpers that is exactly what, that is what you get i saw yeah when i googled the picture for my article this morning i literally saw pictures of like pyramids yep. made in people's <laughs> dining rooms with these things and i'm like this is this is why we can't have nice things yeah so pretty cool pretty cool that nintendo like yeah. i mean look they misjudged this thing the first time around oh, at least definitely. that's what they're saying they did mm-hmm. and they uh they re-released it there's like very minor changes to the 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 box like the yeah the rating is the only thing that kind of moved i believe yep and uh other than that, like, do you have one? Are you playing one? Like, are you? I literally one? bought one last month, so I'm one of these one of these people who contributed to the number. I have not opened it up. I've played friends' versions of it. I've like toyed around with the insides of it and maybe added games to it, maybe not. Um, <laughs> but it is it is it is a nifty little device. I, I really 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 enjoy it. Um, and I, I hope they. I, I mean, I have a Super Nintendo Classic, and I hope they continue with it. I hope they do like a Game Boy Classic or a Nintendo 64 classic soon. Oh, I'm right there with you. I am right there with you. I, I would love to see, I mean, look, obviously these things are selling so well. Mm -hmm. Nintendo needs to take some of that money and reach out to universal and to Activision, I believe, Mm -hmm. and to Microsoft and get GoldenEye. There you go. Six, four classic. Like, I think with yeah. enough money, anything is we, possible. Oh, with, with like, especially with something that was hitting headlines so much, and with Nintendo rebounding like that, uh, of course they like they. It would be in their best interest to put GoldenEye on a sixty-four classic. Like it is, that would be such a catch for them. Even if it's just like, I would even settle for Perfect Dark. I feel like Perfect Dark's a little more attainable, but also. I man, it's just one of those games. One of those games need to be on there and it would be in anybody's best interest to be on board with the next classic console they put out. Yeah. And I mean, I honestly, 
this may be this this may get me uh yelled at in the chat again. I actually like Perfect Dark better for the multiplayer aspect so do of I. things. You know, like yeah. dual wielding, more mm-hmm. you know, more weapons, the the laptop gun, you know, like <laughs> Yeah. I, I like Perfect Dark a whole lot and I'm I'm a huge James Bond fan and like discovering Goldeneye for the first time and I kinda like the single player more. Like I think the single player is very well designed and I, I still like Perfect Dark. Uh, Perfect Dark improves on every single thing that Goldeneye set down and really takes the power of that Nintendo 64 in a in a really really cool way but yeah I I hope they at least get one of those and I hope they do like they better do the thing with like four controller ports oh, as yeah. well yeah they, like, they've got to they've got to the yeah. uh it's funny you say that about the single player because I couldn't yeah. tell you how many times I played through different missions in Goldeneye I uh-huh. played through Perfect Dark once like that yeah. was it there was nothing all that uh um yeah compelling to go back through but man oh man did i love playing oh yeah playing golden eye and the, yeah. that the first mission just on the dam i played that that so first many mission times. is so good so fun yeah. so fun did so. you ever play the remake of golden eye that was on the wii uh i did yes i did yeah yeah the story i played through the story mode on that a couple times too it obviously doesn't have as much as the charm but it was interesting how they try to like incorporate daniel craig in that very very classic bond like over the top a satellite is going to destroy the world sort of storyline right. but it, it's like right down to that like that first damn level is just so so good like it's it's crazy how they remade that game and huh. man i wish they would wish they would port that to switch i'd oh. play that all we did was play multiplayer when that came out and then trying to aim and shoot with the Wii remote and everything. I'm like, I know get out of here. (laughs) They like, I I remember they like released it with a classic controller that was golden. And I, I first bought that game without that classic controller and it is, it is rough. Mm -hmm. It is very, very rough. So I'm right there with you. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So NES classic best selling console in the month of June. These, uh, these weren't even like they didn't start in, they didn't start keeping track of this until 1995. So yeah, if it look, the NES finally gets its, its chance yeah. to be, to be number one again. <laughs> so <laughs> pretty cool stuff. Um, another, this is pretty, pretty interesting. I don't know that it's completely confirmed. Like every, everywhere that I see yeah. it being reported on, they're saying it appears to be the case or it's kind of a rumor, but I would be surprised if this wasn't true. And that is that free to play games mm-hmm. like Fortnite, Paladins, yeah, are going to continue to be that way. You're not going yeah. to need Nintendo's online service. That's that's how things are looking. It's my understanding you don't need Xbox Live to play Fortnite, and you don't yeah. need uh, PlayStation PSN to play mm-hmm. uh, to play Fortnite either. Yeah. So. I mean, I, it, it kind of makes sense that the, that the trend would continue. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if Nintendo was like, no, you're going to need it. No, definitely. Yeah. But ho- hopefully it stays that way. Especially, I mean, we ha- it, the, the crazy thing was for, with Fortnite is you have to remember it's a beta. Like, it's. Yeah, that, that it is crazy that it's still, still a beta technically. It's such a, the most profitable mm-hmm. beta in all of oh, history. Oh, in existence. <laughs> <laughs> so but no that would be good because you know there's gonna be those people that like mm-hmm. that may be the only game they play oh that, yeah and so yeah and hopefully. it's such a big catch for them that like if i if somebody goes into a GameStop and picks up a nintendo switch and doesn't pick up any games because games are expensive they're 60 dollars, they can come home and play one of the biggest video games that is currently out right now mm-hmm. just download it for free and not have to pay any online membership yeah like yeah, you're you're right on there. So, so fingers crossed. It's looking mm-hmm. like that's going to be the case, but uh, as we get as we get more info, we'll definitely keep you guys informed. So, uh we're going to get to know Dan now. This is going to be exciting. Are oh you, boy. Are, are, are are you ready? <laughs> are you ready? Oh, yes, I'm ready. All right. All right, Dan. So, oh. let's uh let's talk about your history with Nintendo. Let's go back in the oh, way boy. back machine and uh oh, which which system did you uh did you start with? 
Okay, so first video game system I ever bought, or I didn't buy it technically because I w- it was a gift from from my parents, but it was a Nintendo GameCube. Uh, a lot of people have memories of getting a Nintendo sixty four for the first time, Super Nintendo NES for the first time uh, as a kid. Since I'm I'm still just a wee youngling, uh, first console i ever got was a nintendo gamecube with mario kart double dash super mario sunshine and super monkey ball so i was set <laughs> dude that is a killer christmas okay uh-huh let's so is it this which color gamecube oh no platinum oh okay. platinum gamecube yep so did it come bundled with double dash i remember yeah. that box oh yeah oh yeah you know your stuff you know your stuff 100 percent. it came with double dash <laughs> i love it okay that's awesome so Break down that. Let's let's talk about that Christmas morning. Like oh, dude. I, it was it was crazy because I was like three years old and I was introduced to video games that year because I was super into Star Wars. And somebody I think it was my uncle had a Nintendo GameCube and he had Star Wars of the Clone Wars. And I was like, you can be a Star Wars like it blew my mind. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I, I need one right away. <laughs> and so later that that following that following Christmas, I I opened up a uh, Nintendo GameCube with Mario Kart Double Dash, a Wave Bird controller and all of that stuff and it was it was probably one of the best ways i could have been introduced to video games ever like first game i ever beat was super mario sunshine and like i have a lot of nostalgia for that game like mario kart playing that with people growing up was just one of my favorite memories some of my favorite memories ever and of course monkey ball is just very very difficult but again great memories for that as well it was a great christmas probably the best christmas ever until i got my wii okay all right man that is that is awesome so where where does double dash land for you if Mm. you were to rate the mario kart games surprisingly i have so much nostalgia for it i don't really like it still like today though like it was funny because like i when i played mario kart on the wii i was like great i don't have to have a second person here with me i can just do my own thing and I, I think Mario Kart 8, of course, is a masterpiece like that. The way that they just keep adding to that game and the, how polished of an experience that is on the Switch, it's unprecedented. And so I think it goes there. And then like, I mean, obviously, I think the Super Nintendo one hasn't held up as well um, right. as it possibly could have Then the I would say the game Game Boy one. And then just because I have so many memories of like being on bus rides and one person had Mario Kart and like seven other people had download play on their DSs. Mario Kart DS ranks a little higher, but yeah. um, I would say double dash is like in between that Mario Kart 64 and Mario Kart DS for me, huh, even with that nostalgia. Huh. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Like, cause I, I was, I already had kids oh, by yeah. the time Mario cart ds came out but like dude that that, that was a life epic changer. on the school was, bus like with download play yeah. like who's got mario kart like everybody jumps in oh yeah it's great we're all shy guy like <laughs> <laughs> it is one person decides to be bowser the person who owns it they win and that's fair because we don't own the game <laughs> dude i love that that would have i had an hour-long bus ride as a kid so like i would have man i would have been yeah. all over that i did i did have the game i remember playing kirby streamland a lot so oh um, yeah Okay, so favorite Nintendo series. Oh, favorite Nintendo series. See, it, it, sometimes it changes. It's, it's weird because I'm, I'm growing up and I love Mario so much. And then I get the Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition thing that has the four Zelda games on it. Then all, I play Majora's Mask. I'm like, this is the best thing that has ever happened to me. Mm. This is my favorite series ever. And I loved Zelda probably more than any other thing that I currently had liked in my life and then i i I felt kind of burned with skyward sword and of course breath of the wild brought me right back in and i just i love the legend of zelda series so much i love over analyzing its history and its timeline that may or may not be official i'm a (laughs) huge huge fan of the zelda series so i i would have to definitely go with that but sometimes if i'm feeling dark and moody i'm like i like metroid and and maybe if like when odyssey came out i i kind of felt like i was a kid again and really 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 just only liked mario but zelda really turned itself around for me okay now now we're gonna put you on the spot then what's your current favorite switch title oh my current favorite switch title the worst part is that there are like some of my favorite games i've ever played are on that thing right now yeah um 
but for the sake of trying to get people to play more things um, that they may not have heard or try to not be boring. Like, obviously, I think Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is the best game I've ever played. But one game that I felt like really, really cemented the switch for me recently um, was the game uh, Night in the Woods. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's a lot of reading, so you might not like it, but it is. <laughs> It is one of those games that is I he throwing shade. Experience. Did he just throw shade at me up here? I think he did. <laughs> it's one of those one of those games where I, I mean, are you familiar with it at all? Night in the Woods. I I I've definitely seen the title or whatever, gotcha. but I don't. That's about it, though. Yeah. So um, it is it is basically kind of like a visual novel where you're spending your time well not so much a visual novel but you're spending your time with different people in this town you come back to your town after basically dropping out of college and you see all of the people you went to high school with and it's it feels very raw and emotional and i i love good storytelling and i personally wouldn't have been able to experience it without the nintendo switch because i just i don't have time to just sit down play video games on a ps4 um as much as I, I used to, especially a game like that. But it's the the art style is all 2D. It's very well animated. There's no voice acting, but a lot of a lot of very, very great writing. You can tell that whoever wrote the game came from a very real place. Mm-hmm. I, I definitely really, really suggest it. So I will say this. Have you played? I think it's called Fates Estella. No, I'm not. An, I'm not into anime. Okay. I tried to watch the first season of My Hero Academia this week. I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, I don't watch cartoons either. But um, <laughs> whoa, so, I, are you, is he allowed to say that? <laughs> is he allowed to say that? <laughs> so, Why did you just murder so many people right now? <laughs> so, but I played that game. There's a. I tried to stream it. Is the it problem good? is there's a ton of reading in it. Mm-hmm. But okay. when I was the first time I played it, when it came out like a year ago, I was on vacation. I'm sitting on a deck mm. out in the woods and I'm mm. like, this is super relaxing. It's like, like a, yeah. a fair amount of reading really like mm-hmm. the story kind of pulled me in and then it was like, okay, now go do dynasty warriors for a few minutes and then come back yeah. and we'll do story time again. And that's how that game, that's yeah. how it played. So maybe I need to give some of these reading games a, uh, a chance. Yeah. I, is there like beginner, like cat in the hat? games or anything like that that i can kind of like 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 like, like, like sesame street or anything i can kind of ease into this i mean i i mean i would say i would say night in the woods (laughs) is such a great place to start with but i mean have you have you played octopath traveler like i mean there's a lot of reading in that and it's a good rpg oh i'm loving it i'm okay i'm absolutely loving it okay i'm absolutely loving it too i was i was going to suggest that one but uh definitely I would say check out Night in the Woods. It's easy to play. There's a lot of different gameplay varieties and things that they experiment with. Like there's a part where you get back together with the band that you performed with in high school. And then all of a sudden it turns into a rhythm game. So there's a lot of diversity with like what you're doing in the game, which keeps your attention, which is a thing that sometimes visual novels kind of have troubles with is balancing gameplay. If there's gameplay even, and then like dialogue. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, here's the here's the oh, man. here's the question, man. I'm gonna get skewered. What game will we all judge you for never playing? I've I've never I've never played Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door I, like ever. I I haven't. I just like it's one of those games that like I just apparently missed out on. It was always expensive. I remember it was like never went down in price ever. <laughs> Like you'd see it on Amazon, like, like four years after it came out and it's like $45 used and you're like, what is happening? Can we not do this, please? But never played it. I heard it's really good, though. My first experience with Paper Mario was Color Splash. So, yeah, so you're just worse than me because I've at least played the 64 one. I, I thought the 64 one was pretty good. You're just worse than me. Yes. Yes, I am worse than you. you serious <laughs> color splash? First. What? Like, you're like, uh, I, I'm only interested in the Wii U WarioWare game. And also, I've only played Paper Mario Color Splash. <laughs> and only like the first level. But I liked it. Well, they're like really? RPGs, right? Yeah, no, of of course. I'm I mean, Octopath is my third 
RPG that like really like that I'm well I mean hang it let me let me take that back it's going to be the third like, oh, RPG okay. that I've beat like JRPG oh okay that gotcha. style turn based you know mm. like Pokemon Yellow Xenoblade Chronicles two Octopus. you're working your way up yeah, yeah. We're, you'll we're, you'll get to Final Fantasy six eventually I I believe in you <laughs> you believe in me okay I mean I'm actually playing all the way through the NES Classic on on stream every saturday morning oh really playing every game on there completing the games that have to be completed <laughs> setting the high scores for the games that have high scores and the oh, snes wow. classic is next so we're gonna there do, you go we're gonna you're gonna have that. a ton of fun with that snes one yeah. especially once you get to star fox 2 which i tried to just hit my head over for about 20 hours yeah yeah <laughs> it's uh that wasn't all that great but i mean i've never touched earthbound never played like I played a little bit of Earthbound. I really like it from what I've played so far. Um, but yeah, it's one of those things where it's like because because the thing is, y- you asked me the question, what games have you not played? It's like I've started so many of these Nintendo games. I probably should have finished and then just never have. Well, like we could, Super Metroid. OK, well, let's let's we'll, we'll, we'll ask the other part of this question. <laughs> what games haven't you finished then that that people are going to judge you for? So I'm a huge Metroidvania fan. I have not finished Super Metroid at all. I loved playing Metroid Fusion. I loved playing Metroid Zero Mission. I've played all the other Metroid games all the way through, even the original one. I have not played through Super Metroid, which is allegedly one of the best ones. It's like in my top five games of all time, <laughs> Super Metroid. Is it really? Yeah, it was the <laughs> first time that I ever had like an emotional experience with really? a video game that I was like... Mm. And like trying to explain it to my dad and he's like, what is a Metroid? You know, <laughs> like, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> and so, um, but yeah, literally it was the first time that I was yeah. like, this is amazing. Like, <laughs> so you got it. Like, I guess I, I mean, I have like five different ways I can play it five different times. Yeah, I've yeah. started it. I just got to commit to finishing it. Just, just commit. You'll, you won't yeah. regret it. I okay. promise. I promise. So, <laughs> all right. Well, Dan, this has been awesome. Thank you so much for uh, <laughs> joining me. And uh, why don't you go ahead and tell people where they can find you online? Oh, wow. You can find me in quite a few places actually online. However, the most comprehensive you can find me is on Twitter at Shadow Forks on Twitter. Um, again, it's Dan Thompson. I've written for a variety of different websites, including Nintendo Life. I've written for a variety of different magazines, including Switch Player Magazine. Uh, I also do a lot of YouTube content, but if you want to keep track of everything that I make or my opinions as lacking of Super Metroid experience as they may be, then yeah, it's <laughs> twitter.com slash shadow forks. Awesome, man. The music you can hear right now, that's actually, we're listening to Super Metroid. That's what's playing. Are we that's really? What, that's, what's, <laughs> that's our outro song. It's, uh, it's Super Metroid from, uh, from the guys uh, on Being Human. So um, mm-hmm. you can follow me guys at Twitter uh, at N64Josh. You follow this show at NPowerCast. The show notes for this episode be N64Josh.com slash NPC116. If you want to email the show, you got a question, comment, concern, NPC at n64josh.com. Remember to pick up your free audiobook from Audible. Go to audibletrial.com slash NPC. The gaming chair that I'm sitting in that I love is from OPC. Go to n64josh.com slash OPC to save yourself $10 at checkout. If you want to get yourself an extra podcast and just some exclusive content, head on over to patreon.com slash n64josh for a dollar. You get an extra podcast. And uh, maybe a, a few more extras here and there as well. So so head on over there for that. If you want to get to uh, chat with myself or Eric or any of the great people in our community, come on over to our Discord, n64josh.com slash Discord. I've also recently created a Facebook group and Mr. Cool Red Luigi from uh, from the discord, from the chat right now is currently my mod over there. Keeping that, uh, keeping that thing under control. So if you, if you're not in discord, but you are on Facebook, Hey, come on in. We're, we're, we're growing, uh, we're growing pretty, pretty quick. So it's, uh, it's getting to be a party over there as well. And I'm going to create this. It's not up yet. It will be soon. It's face. It's n64josh.com slash Facebook group. So you'll be able to go there that I'll create that link tonight, right after this show. 
Lastly, if you have a second, you could rate and review on iTunes. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. We're 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 almost to 200 reviews on iTunes, and I would really, really love to see see that 200 mark uh, before we hit September. So if you have a second, you can rate review. I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you're here live, guys, thank you for being here. Benji, Mr. Cool Red Luigi, Pudding, Scrumpy Dog, Dan, thanks for being here, buddy. <laughs> yeah, guys, I know. It was a lot of fun. Thank you again. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you guys later. Mm-hmm. <laughs>